god. Go, you fucking eat. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another edition of Western Wednesdays. And today we have the final Western horror themed film uh, of the month, uh, the last Wednesday of October, and it is Bone Tomahawk. Uh, so this one stars Kurt Russell, uh, I know Matthew Fox is in it, we know from Lost, uh, David Arquette appears in it as well. And from what I've heard, it's like it's a Western, but halfway through just descends into a pure horror film, that's what I've heard. Uh, so I'm excited to check this one out, know some of the actors, so yeah, ready to go with it. Uh, but as always guys, if you enjoyed the reaction, a like and a comment would be fantastic. And uh, if you've been enjoying the content for quite a while, as always, if you want to leave a... or subscribe to the channel, um, that'd be great as well. It just helps the algorithm, helps the channel grow out uh, to more people. Um, I also have a Patreon page, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check that out to support the channel further. Uh, as always, a big thank you to all my... Um, all my support, all my followers, subscribers here for their support and patrons on Patreon for their support, uh, especially to Ravi, uh, who's on the highest tier. Uh, so thanks very much for that, guys. Uh, but with that said, let's watch Bone Tomahawk. Holy shit. Oh, God. Hell of an opening. Save them jokes that nobody likes for the campfire. Dewey Riley. <laughs> be Dewey to me. Oh fuck! One guy still alive. Holy shit! Help me up. Isn't that guy in um Rob Zombie films, the Thousand Corpses film, wasn't he? He was the clown. Yeah. Do you hear that? It was a gust. That's a real musical gust. It's ominous. <laughs> it's not the time for womanly imaginings. I think I read that there's, there's like cannibals in this film or something, so I wonder is, are they going to encounter something? Kind of sign. Okay. Looks a bit weird now, doesn't it? If that was a gust, then it learned an instrument. Listen clear. We are coming through here, like it or not. Dead. You're dead. Oh. Jeez. Holy fuck. What the hell is that? Is that human? God. Look at the bright hope. It was, certainly wasn't bright a few minutes ago. Oh, look at that. You look real pretty when you're upset. Do you intend to sit and sulk for the next 12 weeks? Well, what do you want me to do? Be gone until autumn, and you're here... I know my situation. You're here with me. Me for a longer duration than any time since we were married. Can't you see it's not all that bad? Hmm. You have a beautiful house. Like hell, I'd be ecstatic. Of course I can. Jack! Patronage the man over there by the pianoforte you might uh, enliven things a bit. <laughs> He's asleep, is he? Of Lady Liberty. He looks like the principal from Back to the Future. I'll have is it him? Stringler. Whiskey. Sir. Chicory. How I was out for a ramble. Yeah. Did he find the body? You need to make sure you have a couple of good meals every day. Uh, and have my backup deputy pass out because he's a deputy. Oh, That'd be shameful. No, oh, sir. Let it cool. Oh. <laughs> How's your tibia? Not thinking about tibias right now. It's leg injury, last thing he's thinking of right now. Sure. It's quiet enough in here without the two of you coming in here and scaring everybody off. We got business. Good evening. I didn't do nothing wrong. I'm just sat in here having a drink. Yeah. Didn't say you did anything wrong. What's your name? Buddy. <laughs> Took a moment to recall that, didn't it? Close from. I ain't stole nothing. Well, you're pretty angry for a guy named Buddy. Because you put him in that hole you dug? 
Oh fuck! Is he dead? Grab an arm. Brother. I shoot him in the leg. Good evening, Mrs. LeGuire. Are you hurt? A drifter. We got caught with the sheriff. Shot in the leg. Shot in the leg. And... Arthur? Yeah? I need to extract a bullet. John! Oh, she's a doctor. Yes. If you make any flirtatious remarks in my wife's presence, there'll be a reckoning. I'll behave, cowboy. Good evening, Mr. O'Dwyer. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Happy to help. I only shot him in the leg. Well, that's his hobby. Deputy. <laughs> Not every man who leaps in front of your pistol is Hale. Likely he's going to get hanged, but it would be nice if the families of the people he bushwhacked could come to town and watch him go purple on the rope. Just stay here tonight and help Mrs. O'Dwyer with whatever she needs. Lock everything up and then escort her home when she's done. Please don't stick your fingers in the water. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Oof, God. My body feels like cotton. I gave you some tincture of opium. What's the sound that he heard at the beginning? Wasn't that, that kind of musical... Holy shit. Oh! Fucking hell. Jeez, they're swift, aren't they? Like fucking ninjas or something. Samantha, you're back yet? Oh, fuck. What if they... Did they kill her? Sam? Listen up! This is Sheriff Franklin Hunt. I'd say they're long gone by now. Everybody's in there. Identify yourself right now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Absolutely eviscerated. How many horses does Wallington usually keep in here? Well, there was my colt, and then, and then he kept... He didn't mention anything about seeing bodies, so, like, where did they go? Did they take oh. them or something? That's one. Oh, an arrow. Indians? Looks like it, but I... Is my wife still at the jail? Let's, uh, talk inside. Tell me here and tell me plain. Mrs. O'Dwyer was abducted. Meeting at the Learned Goat to talk about what can be done. There's only one group that hunts with me. Who? They don't have a name. What kind of tribe doesn't have a name? Doesn't have a language. Cave dwellers. You know where they are? I don't want to get killed. You're afraid of your own <laughs> kind? They're not my kind. They're a spoiled bloodline of inbred animals that rape and eat their own mothers. Didn't he just say that if he doesn't want to be killed? Like, obviously, they're extremely dangerous. Why was my husband, the mayor, not informed of this situation. The sheriff, he told me to, to go get him, but I'm old and I forgot. <laughs> you to believe that? I'm open. <laughs> I'll get packed to meet you in front of the jail in 15 minutes. As will I. I'm the one who fetched your wife. Got her involved. Got a responsibility to you both. And I've killed more Indians than everyone here put together. Yeah, but he said these aren't Indians. These are something altogether. Different altogether. Telegraph. Soon. Take it as a good look, Chair. I hope that riding out Lorna, into the territory. There isn't an option. Kind of reminds me of the scene in Jaws with Ellen and Martin before he goes onto the boat. Is that my wife's kit? It is. I'll carry it. Okay. Can your stallion carry both you and Mrs. Edward? I'm carrying her. Good. Nick can ride with me if he has to. This ain't three days. Riding long and sleeping the bare minimum. 
We need to take care of these animals and ourselves. I ain't thinking about myself right now. I'm keep ourselves. If you go to Gung Ho, well, it ain't gonna be easy. you're definitely not gonna save your wife. So you gotta take the boat strategically. How many? It's just four of them? God, you could've done about 10 or 12, couldn't you? Away from bright hope. Away from brightness and into the dark. I just love the whole gallop of the horse. Trr, 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 trr. Such a satisfying oh, sound. You <clears throat> like you've one man whose leg is not in a good way, and you've another man who's elderly. You know, it could go against him. Sleep with your guns nearby, and you shoot anything that rings a bell. And any person that approaches a camp in the dark without identifying themselves as a criminal. Or a savage. Yeah. You hear it jingle. It's wise words and right there. And shoot. I'll probably beat you to the draw, but when you watch how you speak to the law. Sheriff especially. You aren't captain. No. Rouse everyone when I wake up. I don't sleep more than about four hours a night. Four hours? Jeez. Not that I get it often, but I always never feel fully rested till I get about nine hours. Oh. Said so he was the first quickest to the draw. It wasn't a dog, was it? The backup deputy is Mr. O'Dwyer's behavior. is suspicious. Mm. Elaborate. Suspicious behavior? I think you'd understand, considering the pain you're in. Oh, do I want to see this? Has it got worse or something? Oh, God, look at that. Shouldn't he have a bandage on that? Yeah. You think that infection could turn to gangrene? And go either way. Have you ever performed an amputation? But even done correctly, it's still dangerous. Chances aren't good. Relax, gentlemen, relax. I was about to announce myself. Strike a match so we can see you clear. We'll light things up with our guns. Mind our backs. Isn't Just him. The dangers of like the old west. I oh. saw this on arm. Come forward. Oh. What the fuck? Damn you! <laughs> Why'd you shoot him? Holster your gun. You had no cause. They wouldn't have told you the correct year, much less anything else. I know how to interrogate a man. He's got a system. They deserve it. I don't know. Ruder, he's one interesting character. I see a spot. You hear me, Bruder? It was wrong. Go to sleep, old timer. Well, he was wrong to Deputy. do it. Yes. Shouldn't one of them stay like as a lookout and take shifts? <sighs> if his wife is even alive now. Or, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What? What? He gets stabbed. They got the horses! He was right. I don't understand how they got them all. Saucy had never allowed some greaser on her back. Looks like she resisted. Oh, they killed her. Don't linger, don't linger, please. Thank you for your service. Packed our gear and bury the remainder. If we sleep, it should be in hot daylight, not valley. 
at least a two-day walk. I'll try to match your pace. If I fall behind, I'll catch up when you sleep. Oh. Might as well be drifting and see how you watch the stretch. train now. There's one bad fall. He's <sighs> fucked. Oof. <laughs> Keep on, I'll catch up. You sure? Like, really, what? I, oh, this is just. Oh, I don't even know. It's drifting and drifting. It's like being at the ocean and you're just further and further away. Getting those stunning locations. Look at that. You always gotta take a moment in westerns to uh, just savor in the locations, the scenery. You can barely fucking walk. But then it's Arthur O'Dwyer. Why are they all sleeping? Surely wouldn't they have learned their lesson though. I'll try to refrain from flirting with Mrs. O'Dwyer. Oh Jesus Christ. I'm out here risking my life for the both of you. Perhaps that entitles me to an occasional innuendo. Well it doesn't. Yeah, you shouldn't have made a remark like that. I know you were joking, but still. It felt out of place. Did we delay? Back my crutch. That leg can't be disregarded. Chickory's gonna. He's gonna have to take that leg. No. This is my choice, not yours, and I'm saying no. No. You're gonna die then. No. Can you set it? I can set it. Yes. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna. They're not setting it, are they? Stop. Just wait a second, you. I heard that sound back in Bright Hope on the night of the kidnapping. Hmm. You did. Feels like a signal. Check your firearms. We've been spotted. Why do you hate him so much? You should ask my mother and my sister. Uh. Never met him. That's correct. I think we should start with the nearest one. I'll take the Freaking exhausted again. So like, Remember the rear with the German. Going into the camp, oh. the people are like, going to be fresh and rested in their own camp. Horse tracks. Are Mr. Wallington's or ours? Right. See if you can find a set with one horse. His shoulder, do you even look at that? Careful. Yeah, skull's definitely it. <sighs> it's attention now. I'll signal once I've made a determination. If you haven't heard from me in 30 seconds, go. What's the signal? Could be the end for um, Bruder. What was it? Gr Gruder. Was it for... uh, uh, God. Oh fuck! Who's that? How much she bet he didn't throw it? Silence, isn't it? You're just waiting. Something's gonna happen, obviously, at some point. All they've used is. Oh! a cripple. He 
you knew something was gonna just happen. <sighs> All that silence was gonna build to something. What the fuck are these people? Oh god. We need to get Oh! Jack is the lucky one that he's dead. Mrs. O'Dwyer? Are you hurt? I'm alive. And the drifter? I ate him. Ate him? Oh, no, no, not him. I was gonna say maybe a Driscoll will come, but what the hell is he gonna be able to do? Oh. 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 Or Suffering, I guess, give him something well, positive to hear. I thought it might be possible he's before his death. He had a secret backup plan. If they were doing that to me, it's the only thing I'd want to hear. Oh, that you'd be avenged. Twelve males, maybe more. I thought there was more, to be honest. And two pregnant females who are. Please tell me that wasn't his leg that just snapped. If he could take out a f one or two, maybe three. You watching? You seeing all this? You're not gonna drink it, there, are they? Give it to one of the others. Surely someone would have gone down even if they spit it out. Damnation. Was there enough that they consume that will do the damage? The one with the wolf skull will lose consciousness for a long period of time. The second one will die. And the third one will not be affected. Oh, fuck. He spotted. Oh, God. Well, he knew the bridge, did he? How the fuck is he not dead? Quick, quick! Oh god. Go! You fucking eat! <laughs> there we go. Gosh, goddamn abomination. Fuck is that? This is where it capsized. Wanna go a different route, maybe, or find a different yeah. way in? Back way. <laughs> Another one will be close, could possibly die. So that's five, so there'll be only two left then, isn't there? Oh. 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 
Fucking bottle in his abdomen. Is that the bottle? Yeah, you don't have time for that now. Then there are three more, at least somewhere. Yes, sir. I'm staying here. I intend to finish off the mails. Say goodbye to my wife. I'll say hello to yours. Yes, sir. I did say it was one of those kind of films where the main character could die. Always suspected that. The fuck? Let's keep going. Looks like they're out of the worst of it. At least he has a doctor with him now. If, yeah, he's late. That the sheriff. They were. Tree. Okay, so that was Bone Tomahawk. Um, and uh, definitely one that uh, won't um, be quick to be erased from the memory. Uh, uh, I think, yeah, I, I remember hearing that like it starts off as a traditional kind of Western and then goes into pure horror. I think that is a great way of describing it. Um, I think it gives you time to get to know the character as well. Uh, I thought there were some good performances. I thought Kurt Russell was good. I thought Matthew Fox was really good in it. Um, I thought they did a great job of building the tension and also building to when we meet the cannibals. Like, I know you see a small glimpse of them at the very beginning, but it's very hard to see them. And after that, it's the build, and they did a really good job of doing that. You build and build before you get to them. And I think, like a lot of horrors, it's the anticipation is usually what kind of keeps the tension going. Like once you, there's some brutal moments, obviously, once they've met them, uh, that really stand out. But I always think the best part of a horror is kind of that tension, and it's the anticipation of we know that our characters are going to get to them eventually, and all. Well, some of them, if not all of them, are not going to make it. Obviously, some of them did make it, but you you don't know what to expect. It's that kind of a film. But the tension that builds to that, I thought, was really good. And also, there were those moments where, um, when they first arrive in the camp, and they're, you hear that kind of, whatever kind of battle cry, kind of musical cues, uh, utterance that they make, and then everything just falls silent. And then they walk in, and you're just waiting. You, you, your senses are heightened. You know they did a good job with that as well. Um, obviously, nice to see David Arquette in a. I know he's obviously in a massive role, but it's nice to see him in it. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, great locations as always as well. Um, it's funny. I thought like the elderly, the, the deputy's deputy, and uh, O'Driscoll. I thought like they were the two that would definitely not make it, and it ended up being. Kurt Russell's character and Matthew Fox's character that didn't make it. So uh, that was interesting that it went that way. Um, I had a feeling that the wife would still be alive when, the, when they got there. Uh, I didn't know what stage she would be in, but I'd feel she would be still alive. Uh, but yeah, no, definitely, definitely a fun movie. Definitely glad I watched it. Uh, but guys, let me know in the comments your thoughts on uh, Bone Tomahawk. Uh, I guess where would you rank it among your favourite kind of westerns with a horror twist to it? Um, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys. Uh, but until next time, it's long before.